Hey there, everybody. This is Iron. I'm back with another new indie game. Brand new. This one is coming out today, the day this video is posted. And it's Friday, March 13th. This is Round Garden. Oh no, my friends. Oh no. I found a real good one here, and I think I'm in trouble. This game, uh has combined two genres that I never would have expected could be combined and done an amazing job of both. This is a like pachinko or like peggle, if you ever played peggle, combined with a fantasy roguelike. And guys, it's really, really good and really addictive. Before we jump in, as always, we'll look at the settings. We'll see uh, all the, uh, the options they've got here. So we've got this. Uh, I have turned the screen shake off because I'm sensitive to shaking. I really appreciate that they had that in there. There's timers, turn counter, uh, controller rumbles. I am playing, uh, as you can probably tell, with a gamepad, by the way, Xbox 360 gamepad, but you can play with mouse as well. And we have basically all the options that I uh, would consider necessary. So well done on that, at least so far. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in here. So first we have to pick our hero for this run. I have played with the warrior. Oops. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, but uh, it appears that I have found the relics. Oh, okay. Uh, Well-written game as well, by the way. The, uh, the visuals are great. The music is epic. I love this music so much. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, let's turn on a relic since I apparently have one of these. More potions and all hero stats are boosted, but all gold sources are reduced. You know, that's fine with me. Um, so here we go. I have played with the warrior. Uh, I got to the very last part of the game. I did not win the final boss battle. I have played with the rogue. I didn't make it as far with the rogue. The rogue takes a lot of damage and died really fast. Uh, I have not yet played with the wizard. So I'm going to be playing with the, with the wizard, Fizz. Behind her sweet and bubbly personality, Fizz packs an intimidating degree of power. She has a lot of studying left to do, though. She wants to control her volatile magic. So um, this will be a little bit a little bit blind here. I've played with the first two characters, but I haven't played with this one. So you can also see the sort of tutorial system. Uh, whenever you choose a character for the first time, you get this little mini tutorial. So you've chosen the wizard this time. Brains over brawn. That's a woman after my own heart. I love it. Okay, you know the basics, but let's do a quick skill check. Let's rehearse one of your special skills, the lightning over there. So that's my, my special skill. The book says after you launch, use X to cast lightning bolts out toward your bug friends. Anything in its path is damaged and shocked. Ooh, use your lightning to zap those little rats. Okay, so uh, the way you play the game, you shoot your little hero down. They, they bounce around until they hit the bottom of the screen, uh, but you can also use skills on the way down and do things like hitting potions and stuff, and oh my goodness, the cat has just leaped right across in front of me. Hi, <laughs> Meep. Technical difficulties, folks, but what can you do? It's a cat. He wants attention. He's gonna have to wait till after this video is done. Sorry, Meep. Meep the cat, everyone. Okay, uh, so I'm going to uh, practice the skill by pressing A to launch and then pressing X to zap the... Zap the bugs. Interesting. Okay, so you gotta time it really well. Interesting. Wonderful. Okay, let's get the show on the road. That looks like it's gonna be a tricky one to use. So here we go. This level's over. We can head on out into Act 1. So here's the map. The keep. Uh, so yeah, I reach, I reach the end of... I don't know if it's the end of the game or just the end of Act 1, actually. Uh, the very bottom of the map there. Okay, so... Here's the map. We got our healing potions here. Uh, these drums will bounce us around like crazy. The pots just kind of make you bounce around. The blue potions will give you mana back. And then we have our enemies. And on the right side of the screen, which I can't really show you because I don't have the uh, mouse cursor. On the very right side of the screen, we see all the enemies that are on the screen. Their hit points. Um, the amount of damage they do, it's the little fists there, and uh, special skills that they have. At the bottom of the screen, there are these uh, spikes. If you land on the spikes, it, you do take damage. And if you land, usually there's a cushion at the bottom. If you land on the cushion, um, then you don't take damage. You keep launching until either the map is complete or you're dead. So on the very left side of the screen, we've got my character. Uh, we've got my health, my mana, experience. Yeah, you level up. This is a proper roguelike sort of RPG game. My skills there. And if I hit the left button, I can see uh, all of the items that I have, which will upgrade throughout the course of the game. If I press the right button, right bumper here, I can look at the whole map. All the way there. 
Um, and yeah, I guess that's, that's about all the important stuff. So this is an interesting map. I'm gonna aim for this goblin here. See if I can, uh... Oh, you really gotta time those zaps. And I am... Oh, I got a lot of mana. Oh, yeah. Managed to zap those. Oh, I did fall on the spikes, though. That hurt. Interesting. This is much more complicated playing with the, uh, with the wizard as opposed to, um, the, uh, the warrior stuff. The warrior's been the easiest one for me so far, which is probably not surprising. That's usually kind of the easiest character in this type of game. So, I'm gonna go, if I hit, you can use the, uh, the D-pad, by the way, to go small increments at a time. It looks like I can't hit that scarab. If I hit that, that green gem there, that's a scarab, and I think it increases the gold that I get per turn. And now the cat is attempting to destroy my tax papers, so I'm gonna have to pause the game and cut here. Okay, I'm back, and the, uh, the tax papers have been saved. Cats, folks. Uh, recording with a cat is, is just bananas. Um, I don't see any real good... I'm just gonna go for this guy, I guess. See what happens. See what happens here. I'm trying to keep an eye on those lightning bugs. To see if I can zap anyone. Oh no, I missed. I hit that too early. I was hoping I can go straight across and get those monsters there, but apparently not. So you'll also see that the pots that you break in each run are removed in the next run. I'm not gonna bother with this, actually. Let's just go for this guy. Let's go for this guy. Oh, I did hit the scarab. Oh, we got that one. And I hit the cushion, so there you go. You can see um, that I didn't take damage off the spikes there. Now, I've just got this one last guy. <laughs> Folks, the amount of ruckus being caused by my cat right now is truly insane. I think this is it. Kablooey! I did it! And now, the spikes at the bottom are replaced by these little, again, like a Peggle Pachinko, uh, uh, one of these kind of gambling games. Uh, down at the bottom there, whichever one you fall in determines what your prize is for this r this room. So bubble spray is the skill that I have found. Bubble up nearby enemies. Bubbles deal five damage when they burst, plus five more per bounce. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that, but I have an empty skill slot, so I don't see any reason why not to grab it. Now, let's look at the map. So we have three options where we can go here. If we go to the left, there'll be a room with a, an item in it. If we go uh, straight down, there'll be a spider, and to the right, I think that's a goblin? Obviously, I want to try and get that item if I can, and it looks like that's easy enough to do. Do I want to try to hit any potions on the way down? See, if I do that, then I risk, uh, maybe if I... Yeah, <laughs> I can hit the potions that way. Sweet! Let's go to the treasure room, man. I think this is going to be a treasure room. So that was just the first room. Uh, hopefully folks can see just how addictive this rapidly become. So yeah, this is a pretty good treasure room right here. Let's just let's just launch. Let's see what we do. Let's see how we bounce around. Um, no enemies in this room. Just just prizes. No enemies, just prizes. If you hit those pots enough times, by the way, you do see that they uh, they will smash open eventually. I'm at full health now. I'm at full mana as well. Grab that one as well. That little treasure chest. Why not? Uh, seems like I get mana back pretty easily. So I've got an item here, I've got the Sapping Staff. So down the bottom is my current staff, which is a Moonwood Staff, very basic, just a stick. Attack plus four, this one's attack plus six, plus two mana when an enemy is hurt, and uh, plus 25 attack while poisoned. Well, hopefully I won't become poisoned, but I'm definitely gonna take that. And now I can head to the next room, and I also have one more shot to kinda get stuff out of here. Can I pop down there and get the, no, it doesn't look like, Look like it. Probably not. No, that's fine. That's all right. I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm gonna uh, fall down the hole into the spider room. Here we go. The gold is used, by the way, in the intermission. Which you can see after uh, room seven there, there's an intermission. So when you were a baby, did you shoot out sparks every time you sneezed? It must be a real pain raising a mage. Um, I'm a wizard. What's the difference? A wizard is a magic user who gains arcane powers through extensive study, as opposed to a sorcerer who's born with their ability. Aw, nerd stuff, I love it. Mage is an umbrella term. Umbrellas are for cowards, I never use them. Well then, technically you are a mage then, not just a wizard. All, if, if, if what you say is true and mage is the umbrella term, then all wizards are mages. But not all mages are wizards. <laughs> Great, then don't use mage. <laughs> okay, I've got a quest. Oh, you do get quests along the way in this game. Deal 100 shock damage in a single turn. Interesting. That's gonna be a tricky one, but I'll give it a shot. 
So I've got, there's just mice and there's this kind of spider here. I'm just gonna go for the spider. And, oh, I missed. I missed the, uh, the cushion. Took five damage. Um, I'm not gonna think too carefully about what I'm doing here. Oh, I missed the mouse again. My timing is terrible, folks. Okay, at least I got the cushion that time. Oh, I haven't tried the bubble spray. Let's try out the bubble spray. Let's try out this other skill that I've got. Oh. Interesting. Did I manage? To, I don't think I did 100 damage there. <laughs> Giving it a shot, though. Uh, we've got one more mouse here. I think my best bet with this mouse is probably to uh, use the those bugs there. Oh, and I am my timing is really awful, folks. Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm so embarrassed by my timing here. All right, here we go. There we go. Kaboom! I won. And now we've got our prize pools down the bottom of the room there. It's like we got a new weapon. Let's find out what it is. I would prefer the armor. I've already got an upgrade to my weapon. Maybe this will be a better one. Let's find out. Attack plus five, plus eight health when you use a skill. Now I'm gonna stick with the one that I had, so I'm gonna press B to drop it, sell it for a little bit of extra gold. And let's look at the map. Where are we gonna head this time? Uh, well, if we go to the right, we have fewer rooms that we have to go through in order to get to that intermission. I wanna show you folks the intermission. So I'm gonna go ahead and aim for the right. Should be easily done here. A bloop. Oh, this game is so much fun, folks. <laughs> it's too fun. So this is a special room where we have this kind of mad scientist skeleton wizard dude. Uh, a gold coin or ten, the pen is mightier than the sword. Sword of Damocles, cut my ham and cheese on rye. Now you die, because I, that is me, put the beat in beat poetry. <laughs> okay, we got a different guy than I had last time I went to one of these rooms, so I guess there's a variety of them. Good to know. Oh! Trying so hard to hit this guy in the middle. Um, so we'll get him again. We'll get him again. Got him. Yes. Haha! <laughs> I leveled up. Oh, my mana and health increased. Spectacular. I'm going. I'm going for this. Uh, deal 100 shock damage in one turn thing. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. Usually it'll interrupt right in the middle of the round. That's a, a hundred is a lot of damage to do in one round, though. To be to be fair, right? Put this put this this folk here in a bubble. Oh, out hit the spikes. Doing all right though, health wise. Uh, we've just got this one one last one last fellow over here. Uh, gonna get you, Kablooey! <laughs> Did it. Uh, we only got one prize pool here, but it looks like a special one. What do we got? What's in the box? It is the Mighty Pen. Throw a 30 damage Mighty Pen when you use a skill. Plus 10 poison if you have the Venomous Inkwell. I don't think I have the Venomous Inkwell, but that's pretty cool. Uh, and I do believe, by the way, that these, uh, these things stack over runs, over multiple runs. So even if I die, I think I do get to keep um, all of these things that I've found, which is pretty cool. I don't get to keep, I don't think I get to keep the weapon upgrades. Actually, maybe I do. I haven't tried to use the same character more than once. Uh, I'm gonna head to the right here because I don't think I've done one of these uh, goblin type rooms before. I think I've only done the other ones. Get in there. Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe I can't get in there. Uh, if you bounce too many times, by the way, the game will will just send you on your way. It'll be like, let's go. We might get a chance to see that because it looks like we're just bouncing vertically now. There we go. Let's go. Um, eh, okay. Well, I guess we're going skeletons after all. So after this one, we'll have our intermission. We'll get to spin a chance wheel, which is pretty cool. So here we go. Lots of, lots of, lots of these, these folks here. These little skeletons. Let's see, we'll go this way first. I think we can probably get a lot of them. Uh, there's also this gelatinous cube in the middle, and I actually don't know what that does. I think you get debuffed if you, uh, if you hit it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a moment here, patiently, for it to move along, move on its way. So I think I'm probably gonna be staying on the left side of the screen now. So get to the left side, turn around, here we go. Patience. We see it does have some items in there. We see a loot, we see a uh, coffee mug. There's a bit of candy corn in there. No one's missing that, I'm sure. All right, I think it's safe, let's go, let's do it. Wow. Yep, got all three of these, these folks here. 
One, one easy run. Nice. Oh, did land on the spikes, but you know what? I'm doing okay. So I'm, I'm all right with it. Now, it looks like there's only one more, but I think if we break open these tombstones, it will summon more of these these dudes. So, ooh, yeah, okay. I just get a debuff. Uh, but good news. There we go. We've already beat the level. So now I get a new piece of armor, which is great. Let's upgrade this armor. What do we get? Robe of Static Charge. Health plus 75, already better. Deal three shock to enemies nearby you when you use a skill. Plus three health when a potion is smashed. I mean, that all sounds good to me. I'll take it. That's a good That's a good armor right there. Um, which way do we want to go? I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll head, uh, I'll head right. I'll head right if I can. I think I can. Boom. Swish. Did it. Uh, but now we've got a little intermission. What an incredible spectacle, the highs, the lows, the mediums. But now comes my favorite part, let's take a gander at that gold. Let's, let's do. Let's look at the Wheel of Wonders. Now depending on how much gold I have got so far, it affects uh, how many panels come off the wheel for prizes. With all this gold in their pockets, you'd think our hero would fall faster. Hey, hey, that's not how physics works. <laughs> well, then it's time to spin the Wheel of Wonders. Let's see if we get a prize. And again, I do believe these prizes carry over from run to run, which is pretty cool. Oh, we definitely got a prize. Gastel's Last Wish. Once per run, gain plus 10 mana when you hit zero health. Interesting. I hope I don't hit zero health. Every little bit helps, or at least doesn't hurt. Thanks. Cool. So we got our prize at the intermission here. We're halfway through the dungeon. We got some skelly, we got some skelly friends to hopefully destroy. I'm gonna go off to the side here. Keep an eye on this. Yeah, keep an eye on the lightning. Keep an eye on. Oh, too late. There we go. Immune? Are they immune to lightning? Oh, I think they're immune to, to like poison. I think they are taking damage, right? Yes, they are taking damage. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> that was just a misclick there. But hey, that was a pretty, pretty good uh, little run there. Let's go this way. We'll go for the bubbles this time. I don't fully understand what the bubbles do. But. You know, doesn't hurt to to put people in bubbles when you can, right? Presumably. Presumably it doesn't hurt. Kablue. Kablur. Oh. Okay. So we've got I think we, we did just bust open a grave up here. We got we got another one up here. Um that's gonna be harder to hit. I'm gonna try and get that one with my bugs. Yep, did that. Oop, ouch. Hurt a little bit, but I'm okay. Um, okay, folks. Okay. Uh, I might have to get this one with my bugs as well. Which is gonna be tough to do. The bugs are in the wrong part of the map, right? Oops, I hit the bottom too fast. You can go this way, bounce up and kind of, kind of whack them. That one, that one's, that one's in a very, uh, well-defended spot here. Put in a bubble, whatever that does. Oh, already, already hit the thing. Okay, it's losing. It is losing uh, points each turn. Not a lot of points. There we go. Yes, I did it. Nice. We got some new armor again. Let's see what we got. We get Robe of Transference, health plus 87, plus 6 health whenever you apply a status effect to an enemy and throw an 18 damage dagger and use. Yes, please, I will take that. That is awesome. That all looks very good to me. So, again, if we go to this kind of little mini boss room straight down, looks like we get to skip some levels and maybe even hit a treasure room. So, I'm going straight down. Here we go. Oh man, I'm gonna wind up losing so much of my life to this game. I already know it. It's so addictive. Yes, yes, it's time for the dances! Come to me, my partner, my mis my mirror, my desire. Together we will perform the most passionate show of your lifetime. And when you are devoured, there won't be a dry eye left in the house. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of uh, spiders here. Let's see how many of them I can shock. Doing well. I am taking very little damage from these enemies. When you hit an enemy, you do damage to the enemy, but the enemy also does damage to you. Maybe it's just because I'm hitting a lot of potions? I don't know. 
In any case, uh, I'm feeling good about my chances in this level overall. Oops. I'm too slow. I'm too slow on the lightning. You gotta have real fast reflexes with those those bugs. Yes. Attack level up. Again, too slow to hit the little mini ones, but I'm doing fine. I think this is gonna be uh, relatively smooth sailing here. We can hit this spider here. There we go. Shocked. There we go. I did it. Hey! Oh, this is so much fun. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty powerful right now. I wonder if this will be the time when I actually uh, get that, that last boss there. White 2-2, two, two, plus 15 chance to evade. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I do think we want to go to that treasure room, yeah? Yeah, I do think we I do think we want to go to that treasure room if we can if we can manage that. Um might be kinda tough actually. Let's head this way. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Awesome. I do love me a good a good treasure room. Who's there, a visitor? Oh my, look at you with that big stick and that cute little nosy wosy. Dressed up just like a big scary adventurer, are you? Oh, well, hello. Actually, I am an... Oh yes, what a nasty adventurer. I could just eat you up. Uh, adventurers aren't all bad, you know. Oh ho ho, so scary. You defeated me. Here, take my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Ogre's Originals. Take a lick at the start of each room for plus 25 health. Spectacular. Um, this is an interesting room here. I've already got max health. Should- Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Use- use that, uh, that shock spell to my advantage here. As long as I can. Boom! Oh, I'm out of mana! Oops. I am gonna need some mana. That I was a little, I was a little overzealous. Ooh, this is a lot of money. Nice. I was a little overzealous with the, uh, with the shock there. Need some mana potions. Dual shock circlet plus seventy five health. Double the amount of shock wherever it is applied. Plus four health when a potion is smashed. Um, yeah. I like that. I'll swap that out. How are we doing here? If we go, the the, the center one. That's the way we want to go. I think I'm gonna get to the end. Trying to make my way to that final boss by the end of the video, which I think should be doable. As long as I don't die. I mean, I could die. <laughs> Fair's fair. I could just die. Here we go. Mana. Mana, please. Give me all that mana. I'm use it immediately. Ow. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm all good. Feeling good. Is that another mana potion? Yep. Feeling, feeling, feeling strong. More. <laughs> oh, I st I've actually got plenty of mana now. It's it's incredible how quickly I regain my mana, I think. Yes. Shock. Oh, I guess I shouldn't shock them when they're in the bubbles. That was a pretty good little little round there. Oh, quest complete! I did 100 shot. I'm glad I took that that weapon then. Static shock amplifier plus 25 chance to make an enemy vulnerable when you shock them. So that's my quest reward. Sweet. All right, how are we doing? Um, I think it's just that little mouse now. Hey, little mousey, how you feeling? It's gonna be pretty bad for you in a moment. <laughs> I think I just kind of protected them actually. That's okay. That was fun. I put you in, I put you in a bubble. Now nah, I'm just gonna kill you. Bop! Hey! Wee! Look at the rainbow trail I leave behind. I love it. Oh, I'm doing great, folks. Doing really well. I got a new skill. I don't want to I got a new skill. Lightning. Cast a bolt from you to lightning bugs in the walls. Deal 9 damage and 9 shock. So this is the same one, except it's a higher level. Um, yeah. I'm gonna replace the one I have, I guess. Sweet. Right, mini boss, mini boss. I think this is the last one before the final boss. Oh yeah, the big bad right there. Oh, it's my big scary adventure. I'm so happy to see you again. Come, come, sit in Grandmommy's lap. I'll tell you a story. That sounds fun, but I think I should clear the air about something. Hmm, what's that, dearie? I really, really am an adventurer. What? How dare you toy with an old ogre's heart like that? Get over here. I'm going to teach you the ultimate life lesson. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Get all these old ogre ogre folks. Yeah, I'm gonna shock them a lot. 
<laughs> I just killed most of them in one go. That was amazing. I do a lot of this uh, lightning damage now, I think. Okay. I'm gonna go. Well, let's go. Let's go for this one again, I guess. Shock that one. Shock him again. Why not? Why not do a whole bunch of shocks? I don't see any reason why not. Oh, you ogres are not as powerful as you think you are. Whoops, missed that one. I got some potions though, so that's fine. Whoops. Oh, I missed uh, my chance to hit the uh, middle one there, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna get on this turn. Bop! I bop your head. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Granny's backhand. That's a, that's a good uh, ability there. Okay. What did I get? What's my reward? I got Grandma's Pearls. Giants are always weakened. Nice. All right, final boss time. Let's do it. Let's wrap this video up. Let's wrap this run up. I'm having a great time. I hope you folks watch this video are having a great time. A new test subject. Perfect timing. I've just finished a fresh batch of distillations. And honestly, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> Come on into my lab and let's try them out. Yeah, let's do it. So the last time I did this, um, I died pretty fast, even though I had done really well in the rest of the game. So, ooh, I just got, I just got a, like, a perk there. Okay. Let's lightning the heck. Actually, I want to lightning the heck out of the, the boss at the bottom there. Because that's the one who's going to keep throwing potions every round. Ooh, we leveled up. Level four now. Ooh, I just did a lot of damage to that boss, actually. So that's good. Good stuff. More potions. What happens to me here? Nothing. Okay. Alright. Come on now. I need to hit that boss down at the bottom. Yes! Did I kill her? I think I killed her. Yeah, I did! So I just gotta get these mice. These, these little mousies. This is not too bad, actually. Oh man, the uh, the wizard character might be a little OP, folks. <laughs> I'm doing extremely well. I'm feeling really good about myself. Feeling really good about this run. Feeling really good about my character. Not even bothered by these spikes at the bottom. They don't even bother me. I don't even mind. I don't even care. Can we just... <laughs> well, that was uh, less impressive than I hoped it would be. I'll be honest. But that's okay. Still feeling good. That one. Only one left. I think I can hit it directly. Maybe I can. I did it! I'm the winner! I beat the game! I don't know if I beat the game. I certainly beat this part of it. I beat the run. Awesome! What I get? Amulet of inconsistent power. Plus 50 attack for the first hit of every other room. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that experiment didn't go as I'd hoped. Good thing I always carry an elixir of life on me. Now, don't you go thinking you've seen the last of me, little lab rat. I have so many more potions to brew and tests to run. Oh, I don't doubt it. Act 2. Okay, so that was just the end of Act 1. Oh, man. That was spectacular. I, I am going to end the video here. We'll, uh, we'll see whatever the start of Act 2 is. I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably get another spin of the wheel. Um, but yeah, that is Round Guard, folks. It is a very fun. It is very addictive. It is very well made. And I am super impressed by it so far. Act 2, the dungeon. Um, strong recommendation from me on this one. It is, it is available on Steam today. If it's not out at the moment this video comes out, it will be out at some point today. Um... Go for it, folks. Definitely go for it. And, uh, you know, if this one isn't your cup of tea, if, if you disagree with me and this doesn't look like the kind of game you want to play, you know, don't worry, folks. Don't worry, my friends. Uh, I'll be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know. That one might just turn out to be your favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, uh... Uh, Patreon. Hey, thanks for watching.